Welcome back for episode four of our educational series, Weather 101, where we will focus on fronts and air masses. Let's start with the basics. What is an air mass and what is a front? An air mass is simply a large body of air with similar temperature and humidity or moisture characteristics. A front is just an invisible boundary between differing air masses. Since air masses are described through their moisture and temperature characteristics, we need terms to label those specific characteristics based on where the air mass itself originates. There are two moisture descriptors, maritime and continental, and three temperature descriptors, arctic, polar, and tropical. Maritime air masses contain more moisture than continental ones because maritime air masses originate over the oceans, as opposed to land like continental ones do. When it comes to temperature, Arctic air masses are the coldest, followed by polar and then the warmer tropical ones. Combining the moisture and temperature characteristics gives you five general air mass types. Continental Arctic, Continental Polar, Continental Tropical, Maritime Polar, and Maritime Tropical. Now you might have noticed that there is no Maritime Arctic air mass. So why is that? Well, very cold air cannot physically hold much moisture. Now that we've talked about the basic air mass types, Let's talk fronts. Remember that a front is a boundary between different air masses. A cold front marks the arrival of a colder air mass, replacing a warmer one. Winds usually shift from a southerly direction to a northerly one. If enough moisture is in place, showers and thunderstorms may develop along and just behind the cold front. On the other hand, when a warm front passes, a warmer air mass is taking the place of a colder one. A shift to southerly winds occurs, and the typically cloudy and rainy weather found along and north of a warm front will clear up once it passes. The dry line is a special kind of front that is common to the southern and central plains region. The dry line is a north to south oriented boundary between dry desert air from the southwestern United States and moist air from the Gulf of Mexico. The dry line doesn't always move like a typical front does, but instead it often moves west to east during the daytime and retreats to the west at night. We talk a lot about the dry line in Oklahoma and Arkansas during the springtime and sometimes in the fall because it's often a boundary that leads to severe thunderstorm development. Let's look at a weather map. Do you notice the blue lines with the triangles on them? That signifies the location of a cold front. In fact, there was a cold front moving right through Oklahoma and Arkansas on this day, associated with a thin line of showers. Now, what about the red line with the half circles in Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio? That's a warm front. Do you notice the broad area of precipitation to the north of it? One thing to note, the direction that the triangles on the cold front and the half circles on the warm front are facing signals which way the front itself is moving. For example, the cold front in Oklahoma and Arkansas is moving to the southeast. Quiz time! Let's see how much you've learned about fronts and air masses. First, pause the video and then decide whether the following air mass replacements describe a cold front or a warm front. Then restart the video once you're finished. All right. Here are the correct answers. When a maritime tropical air mass replaces a continental polar one, 
warmer air is moving in, which means this is a warm front. Conversely, when a continental Arctic air mass takes the place of a continental polar one, temperatures get colder. So it's a cold front. A maritime polar air mass replacing a continental tropical one is also a cold front, and a continental tropical air mass taking the place of a maritime polar one is a warm front. Thank you for checking out this episode on fronts and air masses in our Weather 101 series. You'll definitely want to stay tuned for episode 5, where we will discuss air pressure. We just might throw in a hands-on experiment for you to try out, too.